Hello everyone. Welcome to another interesting video by Simply Learn. As you know, the graphic visualization of data constitutes a discipline within the data science universe. This practice has become an important milestone throughout the history in data analytics. So keeping that in mind, in this video, we are going to discuss one important graph that is a boss and a whisker plot. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's discuss the agenda for this tutorial. We'll begin this video by discussing what is box and whisker plot and some important terms involved with the box and whisker plot. After this, we'll look into the way in which you can construct a box and a whisker plot by taking an example. After this, we'll move on to the Python and see how you can create a box and a whisker plot. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what are box and whisker plot? A box and a whisker plot is a graphical representation of variation in a set of data. A histogram analysis is usually sufficient, but a box and a whisker plot can add more detail while also allowing multiple sets of data to be displayed in the same graph. Let us understand the terms involved here. So the first one is the minimum value, so the smallest value in the data set. The Q1, which is the lower quartile, is the value below which the lower 25% of the data are contained. The median value is the middle number in a range of numbers. The Q3, which is also the third quartile, is the value above which the upper 25% of the data are contained. And at last, the maximum value, which is the largest value in the data set. Now that we know about what is box and whisker plots, and the key terms that are required to construct a plot, let's move on to an example to see how you can construct a plot in a systematic manner. Here we have a sample age of 10 students at a training center. So the first step would be to arrange the data in the ascending order. The second step is to find the median of the data set. Since there are even number of terms, we will find the average of the middle two terms to find the average of the data set. So adding 20 plus 24 and dividing it by 2, we get the average as 22, which is also the median of our data set. Now that we have found our median of the data set, let's move on to the next step. So the next step is to find the median of the lower half and the upper half. The lower half median is 19, which is also the Q1 of the data set, and the upper half median is 25, which is the Q3 of the data set. So our 5 number summary will look like this. The minimum value is 15, the Q1 is 19, the median, which is also the Q2, is 22, and the upper half median is 25, and finally the maximum value, which is 28. Now we have all the required values to make a box plot. So let's go ahead and create one. So to create the box plot, the first step would be to make a number line with a proper scaling. After this, you just have to draw the whisker from Q1 to the minimum and Q3 to the maximum age value. Now that we have created the box plot, let's understand what these values actually mean. So, the lowest age among the students at the training center is 15, excluding the outliers. About 25% of the students are under 19 years of age and close to 50% of the students are between 19 and 25 years of age. Nearly 75% of the students have an age less than 25 and the maximum age among the students is 28, excluding outliers. Now that we know how to create a box plot, let's move on to Python compiler to see how you can create a box plot using a matplot and a numpy library. So here I am on an online compiler. So let's start by importing matplotlib and a numpy library. Plot as plot import numpy as np. Now that we have imported both the libraries, let's generate some random numbers. For that, we'll use the function random so np dot random, and we'll name it random integers. So the first value we are going to enter is the lowest value our dataset can have. So 0. The 100 will be the maximum value the dataset can have. And there should be 100 terms in our dataset. Now, to make a box plot, just use the plot.boxplot function and pass it to sequence. Make sure you spell it right. Now. To get the graph, use plot.show. Now just run it. So 
you can see we have a box plot ready. So in this way, you can create the box plot in a Python. So with this, we come to an end of this tutorial. In conclusion, you can summarize the data from multiple sources and display the result in a single graph. Which other graph and visualization method do you feel is useful? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for being here and watching for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.